Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I'm gonna to do another book review and this is called Don't Let Go. This is the first book of the Invisible series written by Michelle Lynn. If you're new to my book review videos, what I typically do is give you information from goodreads.com and then we go from there. Um, this is rated 3.97 out of five stars from 5,458 people that rated it. Sadie Miller is attempting to change her ways and hide somewhere. To no one knows and hide somewhere no one knows her former self I'm sorry I'm dyslexic she only wants to finish her final year of college obtain her degree and get out from the hold of her affluent parents then she meets Brady Carson the lead singer of the Invisibles the popular local band in the college town she tries to stay away but quickly realizes that although he might not be what she's used to is exactly what she needs and more importantly, everything she could possibly want. This is the cover by the way. Unfortunately, Sadie's troubled past left her with insecurities that make her question Brady's true intentions. And while Brady is convinced that Sadie is the one for him, he has his own secrets that he fears will be their undoing. If they want to be together, they will have to stand united and fight the outside influences that are threatening to tear them apart. Can they put their past behind them for good in order to secure their future? The um, first time this was published but was November 13, 2013. And um, genres it belonged to would be new adult, romance, college, music, contemporary romance, and contemporary. Okay. <sighs> Sadie's character was definitely... I guess okay being a woman having to be a girl at some point in my life <laughs> um and I think it just being a human being I think everybody man or woman they always have their own little you know insecurities in a sense so Sadie is definitely very relatable however there is a huge darkness in her story very big massive actually um, that I'm not gonna get into because I think that's gonna you know ruin your your um, your experience with the story that said um, Brady is not just the sexy musician rock star local popular guy but he is this very super sweet very endearing very <sighs> great guy <laughs> um there are some moments here that were really steamy um funny moments fun moments very sweet and endearing moments in here Brady is, it just kind of feels like Sadie is one of those people that has more insecurities than confidence. She has more darkness than light. And for whatever reason, Brady seems to see the light and it over, it overshines all the, sh the darkness in her life, which is really great. However, it is taking her a little bit of time to actually trust him and hold his hand while he pulls her out of the darkness so that was a really interesting um journey and a path to read with um there's a certain point in the story that was just kind of eh, like it, i don't know like it, it felt like it should have been something more and maybe a little bit like it missed something just something um story was well written it, I definitely finished it um I didn't even expand this because this is a series and just so you know this is one out of five books with a novella so six books total with a novella um just to let you know right now this is the only book in the series I read that says a lot yes I enjoyed it but it was one of those it's okay it wasn't great there were certain parts essentially that i'm like oh my gosh is this is this gonna be it is this gonna be the this the part in which the the book actually rises from where the current level is 
and it just always goes simmering down and I was really disappointed in that so that's really the big reason why I never really went through the other books and there are a few of those books and you know what I will link them down below if you guys are interested and now that I see it a lot of these books are rated way better than the first book so maybe this is kind of similar to the Seabreeze series in which the first book was really a big letdown but then I did give the second book a try and then the second book and the rest were really just amazing so maybe I'll give it another try I don't know I just after reading this I really did just put it aside and pick a different book and I never really bothered to buy the other books I didn't really think about that until I had to do this now um, this is the second time I've read the synopsis of the book the first time was right before I purchased it and um, I don't know I just never really I never really gave it a second thought to get the other book especially after reading it I just never bothered so I don't even know sometimes when I'm really frustrated with the book I don't keep it I just delete it <laughs> I just delete it and move on um, if this was a physical book um, I probably would maybe keep it maybe donate it I don't know but it's easier to just delete you know it's easier to do that because if you have to donate it, you have to go somewhere and donate it in your local library or something. But anyway, um, uh, I recommend this very, very um, weary, you know, sense. Um, one thumb up, not giving it two thumbs up because it was, it was definitely decent to read. Um, the characters were definitely well thought of there's just some situations that were like what just happened was that necessary what happened to that you know what's the outcome like there's a lot of things that were just unfinished and it was frustrating in a sense um one out of ten stars i would give this a five it was okay it wasn't horrible or terrible or awful but it wasn't great you know just okay eh, you know that kind of situation um, if you guys want to chit chat and discuss about the book, if you don't agree or agree with my rating and my review, go ahead and let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and thank you guys for stopping by. I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business increase, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.